on that trip to Alabama, I started to tell y'all a story that I never did finish. Uh, and it was about me and my life. Uh, um, when I was a kid, or before I was born even, there was a guy named Olin Seagraves came home from World War II. He had acquired a lot of property out in Douglasville, Georgia, in a little town called Winston. He went in down there and cut down a bunch of trees, built himself a log cabin, and then he took a tractor and he hollowed out a piece of ground in front of the log cabin and pushed all the dirt up to one end, built a dam, and made a lake. Um, over time, he built his house, he expanded his house around the log cabin so that the log cabin was inside the house. Um, and that was at one point my bedroom of that house. And it was a beautiful place. My dad and mom bought it, took really good care of it. The uh, place was gorgeous. Anyway, on our travels, I went to visit the old home place and it's completely gone. Somebody let the dam wash out. I guess I'd heard at some point that the floors had rotted out in the old part of the house and now it's gone altogether. And uh, there was one old barn or shed building that was still standing and there was an old gas tank there. Um, but back in the day when I, when I was a young feller, and I'll go forward in time a ways, uh, when I lived there the interstate highway system had not been built yet. Uh, and they pushed Interstate 20 through Georgia at about the time when I started driving a truck. So I used to drive a truck out of uh, Atlanta um, over to Douglasville, Highway 5, and that's where the interstate, that's where Interstate 20 ended because it was in the process of construction back then. So we would jump off on Highway 78, take Highway 78 through Georgia and Alabama all the way over to Heflin and then Interstate 20 would start again and we'd run Interstate 20 over to Birmingham and then it would end at Birmingham city limits and we'd drive through Birmingham on old Highway 78, which took us right by the old steel mills. This was back when they were still in, in process and we could literally see the flames inside the steel mills when we drove by. And then we jumped, jumped back up on to 20 again, took us on out to Tuscaloosa. And that was kind of a regular run that I had there for a long time. So I grew up in a place where the interstate system was just being built. Um, and as I drove along, and of course all of that, all of that through there was, there was nothing there because they were pushing a big new road through country where nothing was developed so like if you had a little truck stop or something like that along the way it was just you know a place pushed out of the mud parking lot where someone had stuck up a building and started doing business because they had some interstate traffic and uh, of course now it's all grown up with houses and factories like everything else and anyway I was reminded of all of that as I traveled around the country last week um, now that I'm back home I'm here with my my trusty <coughs> free lawnmower and as y'all recall, I fixed, I think I fixed, I JB welded a crack in the engine block yesterday and I've let it set all night. And this morning we're gonna see if she'll crank and then we're gonna see if she's gonna squirt oil after she cranks.